collect one thing in the world, and that thing is currency. I remember when I was in India a couple of years ago, I suddenly stopped and thought, well, money is something that you use every day, and it's something that you kind of obsess over when you first get to a country. You're like, oh, look at these new little pictures that you've got on the banknotes. And so I just thought, why not, why not savour them? Savour the memories, hey? And so the rules of this little game that I'm playing is that I take one banknote from every country that I've been to. I'm not allowed to accept banknotes from countries that I haven't been to, because that's cheating. The way I see it is kind of like Pokemon, in that I've got to catch them all, got to collect them all, but at the same time I've got to do it myself and put in all the effort to go to these countries in order to feel a sense of accomplishment in having this collection. I like to think that I'm pretty well travelled for a 20 year old. I have been to between 12 and 14 countries, depending on what you count as a country. It's actually a more difficult question than you might think, working out how many countries you've been to, because there are a lot of grey areas. For example, is Scotland a country? They've got their own football team, but they compete for the UK and the Olympics. Anyway, the countries I've been to are England, Wales, France, Netherlands, Scot- no, not Scotland, Spain, Italy, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, India, Australia, New Zealand, USA and Mexico. So those 14 countries amount to 10 currencies due to the Euro and all that, but unfortunately 7 of those currencies that I've got are in Australia so I can't really show you them. The three that I've got here are the three that I've acquired here whilst I've been on my trip in Mexico. So the first one is the US one. Abraham Lincoln there, in all his bearded Republican glory. Here's the Mexican one as well. I have no idea who that is, but it's a nice layout for a note. I like it a lot. This is 10 New Zealand-ish dollars. The reason that I have this one, even though I haven't been to New Zealand on this trip, is that I begged my Mexican friend who went to New Zealand to pick one up for me because I really need to complete my collection. Because I wasn't doing this whole currency collection thing when I was 13 and I went to New Zealand and also I went to Spain and France when I was like 8, which was before they had the Euro, so technically I should probably have the French franc and the Spanish peso, but I really just don't have any idea where I'm gonna find dead currency, so I'll probably just let that one slide. I feel like the lighting just got a lot better because it's now in the hour before sunset, which is, as they call in my video production class at uni, the golden hour for filming video because of the great lighting, so this is nice, I like it. I do have a photo of all the other currencies that I've got, and here you can see it. Still got two currencies there with the Queen on it, which I think is completely ridiculous that Australia still has the Queen on our money. Gah! British monarchy, get out of our country. India and China there, obviously featuring their two respective national heroes, Gandhi and Mao. And look at that Hong Kong dollar, that is a snazzy design for a banknote. So yeah, that's my currency collection, hopefully I'll have a few more by the time that I see you guys at VidCon in August, because I'm definitely going to be going to Cuba and Jamaica, and hopefully a few other Central American countries along the way. I just thought that this idea was a nice little memento of all my times travelling. For example, I remember we were speaking with my dad once, and he, we worked out that he had been to over 100 countries in his lifetime. Imagine if he had taken a banknote from all of those countries. He would have so much. Oh, it would be so cool. So cool. I thought Sarah's video was really good. Um, just saying. <laughs>